right now. So welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us for the May uh, Experts Connect. This is a great opportunity for us to get to know one another, to find out who else is out there who we can collaborate with. Um, if everybody would do me a favor and just mute yourselves, that would be great. Uh, and then uh, we can uh, unmute as we go around the, the horn here. Um, and, you know, Living Healthy List is a collaboration. It's a collaboration of experts. It's a collaboration of friends. Uh, and I think this, what I think is the most exciting piece for me is the, the friendships and the partnerships that we can create within our own group. We've got a great support system uh, within this group. Um, and everything from, you know, stuff that's going on in our personal lives, stuff that's going on in our business. We have plenty of people right here who we can connect with, ask questions, ask for advice, you know, ask for an ear uh, and suggestions. So this is really why I love to do these, um, these uh, monthly expert connects. Um, I guess two months ago, um, somebody said to me during a an evening event that we did. You know, Denise, we should do these more often. So we are going to have a monthly evening event, uh, and that's the last Wednesday of the month. Uh, just for those people who are working during the day and can't join us live um, uh, on this event. Uh, typically, those are a little less of a, have a little less of a structure. So um, in the daytime event, we go through, we introduce one another, I always have something new that we're learning, um, something to uh, share. Um, and there's always something interesting we come across and we never know what that's gonna be. So I'd really like to start with uh, everybody introducing themselves. If everybody could just take um, a minute, 30 seconds to a minute to tell us who you are, where you're located, um, and a little bit about what you do. Um, let's see. Lisa, I'm gonna start with you because you're on my left. Great. Hi everyone, I am. Lisa, as you can read in my box, I'm in the Bay Area. I am an executive therapeutic coach. So I have for tw 25 years almost combined coaching and psychotherapy to help all different kinds of people. I'm terrible at niching down because I address so many issues with people. So I'm really happy to be here and happy to share my network and um, do whatever I can to help the group grow. Awesome. Thanks, Lisa. Actually, now we have three Lisas, I believe. Um, I'm going to, all of a sudden, everything moved around. Everybody moved. So Lori, I'm going to go with you because you're now next to me. Okay. Lori, I am in Alexandria, Virginia, right outside of D.C. Uh, I am an intuitive coach that specializes in love, uh, relationships, um, more getting relationships, how to find your relationships or actually attract relationships and maintaining healthy um, relationships first with yourself and then with other people. And I really, um, my niche is really trying to make that mind, body, soul um, integration. So take it a step beyond the connection really integrate them together in the areas of love. Cool. Thanks, Lori. Uh, Ms. Cheryl. Hey, everyone. So my name is Cheryl Bailey. I am in Voorhees, New Jersey, and I am a mindfulness and meditation coach as well as a transformational coach. And I help people, my tagline, I help people live their best life one breath at a time. Awesome. Thanks, Lisa. I mean, Cheryl, sorry. I've got Lisa on the brain. <laughs> Thanks, Cheryl. Um, Lisa Medley, if you would. Hi, everybody. I'm in Rhode Island, the Ocean State, and I am specialized in embodiment, body-centered well-being, body-centered spirituality. I kind of bridge the divine human experience with getting more comfortable in your own skin. And I'm launching something really special today that I'll post in the experts group later. And it's really, really cool to see faces that I've heard, like on the, you know, the series and just new faces, like it's growing. It's, it's just really, really cool to just be here with you all. So thanks. Thanks, Lisa. 
my friend Leticia. Hello, everyone. I'm really excited to be here. It's my first meeting, not my first engagement with the group. Um, so my area, uh, we, I live in Rochester, Minnesota, actually just down the street from Denise, which we didn't know this all this time I was writing with uh, the expert group. But my area of focus is stress management, mindset and motivation, and also life balance. And I do have a focus on Christian counseling, psychology, and aromatherapy. And so I really work on helping people choose joy. And that is like my tagline. Mm -hmm. And you are the epitome of joy, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. Certainly. Uh, Miss Lisa Tuccio, welcome, welcome. Hello, everybody. And this is my first meeting with you guys. And I'm really relaunching myself, you know, into this, uh, to this space. So um, I live in Wilmington, Delaware, and I help people um, create a life on the other side of disease. So I have a, um, a group called Hack Your Way Well, and um, I like to focus on helping people move from disease state and how they can create a healthier life. Um, on the other side of that. And I love the health sciences of nutrigenomics and um, helping people really embrace who they are and their stories, what they tell themselves and how they can, you know, move past that narrative. Awesome. So that's about it. Thanks. Cool. Miss Lauren. Hello, hello everybody. Um, I am Lauren Weinberg and I am coming to you from Bluebell, Pennsylvania, which is just outside of Philadelphia. And so nice to see everybody. Um, I am a certified integrative health coach, but I specialize in helping people avoid or recover from burnout. I like to call myself a life architect and a habit change specialist. I help people design a life that works for them so they can love the life that they're living. So nice to see everyone. Thanks, Lauren. Leanne, if you would, tell us a little bit about you, my friend. All righty, I'm Leanne Pruitt. Um, I have a company called Let's Ace Your Space and I help on the go people clear the clutter so that it no longer blocks their, their momentum or motivation um, and so that they can gain some control in their lives. So yes, I do. I help people with their clutter. I help people declutter. And I, I live in Raleigh, North Carolina. Thank you. I actually, before we you, everybody jumped on, I had uh, clutter stuff that I had cleaned out of my closets behind me. And I thought I better hide that before someone sees that and calls me out on it. So I'm calling myself out. But as soon as the uh, consignment shops open and the, I guess savers, whatever the other place where I can donate that stuff's out of here. Let's see, Michelle, if you're still Michelle boss, if you're still able to chat before you have to jump off to your teacher conference. Hey, good morning. Good afternoon, ladies. I'm Michelle boss. I'm here in the San Francisco Bay area. I'm a personal finance coach and educator, um, which means I, teach individuals and groups uh, best practices, behaviors in personal finance uh, to affect their behaviors and help with their financial wellness. So um, I think that's everything you asked us to cover. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. Great to see um, and welcome, by the way, to the new faces. It's, it's so great to get to connect with even more of you. That's great. Thank you. Stacy, hi Stace. Oh, she's wearing that cool hat again. I love it. <laughs> the sad thing is I got I did get a haircut, but this morning it just wasn't working. So <laughs> um, sorry I'm late. Uh, I was getting off another call, but um, I'm Stacy Witten. I'm from the Dallas, Texas area in Plano, Texas, if you know where that is. Um, I am basically a career and leadership coach and I work with both individuals like in their job searches as well as them trying to excel in their careers. And then I also work with organizations and companies to help them 
in their leadership growth, help with emerging leaders and that type of thing. Thanks, Stace. How's the weather down there? I always ask because I get jealous. It's beautiful, but it will get to 90 today, so don't get too jealous. <laughs> That's a little high. Cool. Um, let's see, Sandy, I know you're driving. Can you say hello? Yes. Cool. Hello, everyone. Um, yes, I am driving, so hence no video. I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't want to stare at like my chin or something. So <laughs> I am Sandy Haddock, and I am a travel agent, travel advisor, travel concierge, whatever you want to call me. And uh, category for our group, I'm fun. <laughs> so um, right you are now, fun. <laughs> right now, just trying to keep travel top of mind for people um, because we will travel again someday and uh, we want to be prepared. It's always great to travel with a plan. And so um, that's what I do for people, help them plan out their travel and um, so they can focus on the fun. And I, I dive into the details. So that's me. Thanks. Thank you. And Sandy really is good at the details. Um, she's, she's, she did an amazing trip for me a couple years ago when we went to Bordeaux and literally all I had to do was show up. <laughs> so that was amazing. Thanks, Denise. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Let me see. Let me go around the horn one more time. Make sure because everybody moved again. Maureen, where'd you go? There you are. Okay. Miss Maureen, I am going to have you uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Yes. I, call myself a peak performance health consultant. Um, I used to call myself like a health coach. Um, but then I realized that, I mean, a lot of you guys do a lot of mindset work, which is amazing. And I really just geek out more on the scientific strategy. So um, it's more about running, running genetic labs, running other tests, and just very, very much taking like a genetic and scientific approach to nutrition and lifestyle to help people look, feel, and perform their best. So it can be optimizing athletic performance, um, addressing any chronic illnesses, diseases, things like that, diabetes, autoimmune stuff. Um, and so I do do some mindset stuff, but it's definitely not my area of expertise. Uh, you know, so it's more just the, the nitty gritty, eat this, don't eat that, <laughs> that sort of thing. So I'm total science nerd and uh, it's nice to meet some of you for the first time. And uh, yeah, that's what I do. Uh, Maureen, I think you and Lisa Tuccio would have a, a, some great conversations yeah. because she's really into that. All into that. Yeah, I have the genetics. I love it. We definitely should talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I think it's really important, you know, all of us do something a little different. And, you know, what we're, what we present to, or what we offer to the world um, at Living Healthy List, because we are all Living Healthy List. I'm just the person kind of typing stuff and making sure it all gets out there. But really, we're all living healthy list. And because we're not a medical website, um, we still want to make sure that we're providing people the best information, the most honest, the most accurate, and having uh, experts who really know their, you know, th this other information, you know, the science pieces, the, um, the genomics pieces. Um, I know Dr. Karen, she talks a lot about, um, no, Lisa, you talk about epigenetics. I forget what Dr. Uh, Karen talks about. Um, or uh, It must be some type of genomics, um, which is always interesting. And I think we need to share that because there's so much information on the, on the internet that's garbage. And so we really do provide people with good information, with honest information, stuff that's reliable. Um, and my goal are, I guess my job as the CEO and curator which basically just means editor, um, <laughs> just fancy word for editor, is really to make sure if people trust me, they trust all of our experts. Uh, and I trust our experts because I know our experts. You know, I've worked with you, I've spoken to you, we've had many conversations or I've been referred to. Um, so initially, Living Healthy List, um, for those of you who are, are still, who are new to our, our group here, um, our experts started, or our founding members, are all people who I knew firsthand for the most part. I think, except for Lori BW, I think you were one of uh, one of my first experts, and Lori was a referral uh, from somebody who I know, love, and trust. So that I think is the most important piece of our collaboration 
is that we all believe in one another and that we all trust in one another and we can all connect with one another. Um, I forgot that, to mention I live in Los Angeles, California. That's Los right, California. you do. Yeah. And and I'm did we forget did we forget Jackie? I think I see one box down there. We're going to get to Jackie. Jackie's our oh, special okay. guest today. So yes, I, I apologize, Jackie. I should have mentioned you just there. So thank you for joining us. Um, uh, yes. Actually, what, why don't we do this? We will, I'll introduce, actually, Maureen, I'll have you introduce Jackie. Um, and we'll talk a little bit about um, our affiliates. So this is, so how does Living Healthy List make money? Um, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> There's a couple of ways. Um, we will be moving forward this year on doing some advertising or getting some paid advertising on Living Healthy List. But right now, what we are focused on also is our affiliates. Uh, and our affiliates are kind of the, the resources that we share, we at Living Healthy List share with our audience because they are companies that we know, that we believe in, um, that have good solid products and really do fit in the health, wellness, personal development, and fun categories. Um, so that's actually why Jackie is here to talk to us today. Uh, she is uh, part of an organization that it, uh, I'm now affiliated with, and there she is. Hi, Jackie. Um, so Maureen, if you'd like to tell us a little bit and uh, introduce Jackie yourself, that would probably be a good way to transition. Yeah, so I um, I was introduced also to this affiliate opportunity um, a, a couple months ago, um, but it just made sense for me. It's called it's Legal Shield, and it offers. And Jackie will go into just a quick presentation of, you know, how it really benefits us as like coaches, home based business entrepreneurs to have this. I know I, but that's how I know. Leanne, we were in a mastermind group together and uh, with Amy Amata and it was great. And she brought in like a legal expert, you know, and said, it's so important to have your contracts reviewed and things like that. And I thought, oh, great. And I reached out to the attorney and she was still several hundred dollars an hour. And I thought, gosh, you know, I've spent so much money building my business. I just couldn't. So I've had like hundreds of clients sign my disclaimer that I just kind of piecemealed together from other things I had signed, you know, and like just crossed my fingers that it like held up in case I ever got, and I've had clients that didn't pay and the debt collection and stuff. So like so many of my friends in the community, I found out about have, you know, legal shield services for their business and the price point. And I was like, gosh, this is amazing. And then, you know, I was mentioning it to Denise, cause I know all of us on here, I just thought it'd be really cool for Jackie to come on and share the different plans and to see, cause I think it might really support a lot of us with just legal concerns in general, as we build our businesses, incorporate all these things like that. And then Denise and I were talking about how cool it would be with so many different things that we do as the experts, you know, when we have the resources tab on the website for things that we love. So it's like when some of the people come to find us for specific health, it's just one more cool thing we can add you know, as living healthy list and living healthy list can make money as an affiliate for people to have personal legal protection and ID shield and stuff, just kind of that holistic approach. It's like, let's take care of people's legal issues, mind, body, spirit, health, wellness, joy, you know, so um, Denise thought it would be a really cool way for living healthy list to be able to offer resources to people to make you know, money for living healthy list. And then also, uh, we just thought it'd be cool to share with you guys to see if it might be something that could support your business as well. Cause I didn't know about it more than two months ago. And I wish I had known about it for years ago because it's been amazing since. So Jackie's more of an expert in it. So she offered to come on and just kind of quickly for 10 minutes or so go through the different options for us as, um, coaches and business owners and entrepreneurs, and then ask, answer some questions. Um, Anything else, Denise? No, I think that's good. Um, Jackie, if you could, uh, you know, just give us some uh, brief, in, in, some brief uh, information, uh, you know, 10 minutes and we'll do some Q&A if that's available, if we have time there. 
Awesome. Yeah, well, I'm really happy to be here. I'm, I'm thankful um, just to be connected with Maureen and Denise, and I see other faces here that I know as well. And so I'll kind of dive right in and just let you guys know that my background is really in PR and publicity and business coaching. Um, and that's really where, you know, my focus is. That's where a lot of my life's work and a lot of my life's mission is. However, um, I came across Legal Shield last year, and honestly, I came across it because my husband got started in it, and I just immediately saw the need. I think like Maureen shared, I immediately saw the need of the services, and I think if you're, you know, I got a chance to hear a lot of what you guys are up to and a lot of what you're doing in the world, and I think often when you're doing heart-centered, like soul-centered, like, you know, work, helping people with their health and wellness, there are a lot of liabilities and a lot of things that you can can come across. And I know for me, even working in the space that I work in with business coaching, I've just seen so many things happen behind the scenes from contractual things to, you know, getting um, sued and clients and just all these different scenarios. And so when I came across this service, I really immediately saw the value. And my guess is that many of you will too. So I'm going to share my screen here just really briefly and kind of go through an overview of what the services are and, you know, how we're making a difference and things like that. So I know that um, Denise and Maureen shared with you that the company is Legal Shield and you know a big part of why I initially uh, saw the value was because I've got a family I've got two little kids uh, one is three one is six and we also are expecting our third and so my husband and I had our son well we had gotten our will done when my son was born and we kept saying when my daughter was born oh we're gonna get it done we're gonna get it updated we're gonna get it updated and you know she's three years old now and it still wasn't until I came across Legal Shield and so just to give you an overview our company is really about about disruptive innovation. Um, if you know anything about, you know, or got to witness what happened with Uber and Netflix and Airbnb, these are all companies that came across and with an app, they really kind of changed the model of the industry. You know, they made booking a place to stay or watching a television or movie or getting a taxi so much easier than it was even, you know, years before. And so our company really um, decided to make getting access to the legal system super easy and super affordable. And a big part of the vision is just to really provide equal access to liberty, justice, equality for every human. And I don't know if any of you have ever tried to hire a lawyer or you've ever experienced it, but often when it comes to the legal industry, many people, especially women and especially entrepreneurs, are often priced out of the legal system. It's like, you know, I've gone once. I remember when I first started my business, kind of like Maureen, I had a contract that I had piecemealed together from my coach. And when I finally said, you know what, I've got to get legit. I've got to go and get the, the contracts looked at. It was a two-page contract that cost me $375 just to have them change like a little snippet. And I'm like, I've got five other programs and five other contracts that I've got to get looked at. And so often what happens is that people make a decision about their legal rights and their legal coverage based on their checkbook versus what they really need to have. And so what we did was we basically established or the company started more than 40 years ago. And what our founder said was like, what if we had a network, a shared network, kind of like the network that you guys are creating here where you can refer people and you can inside of this network really take great care of each other and your businesses. He said, what if we were to go to law, law firms and basically, you know, because we're bringing X amount of members get a better price than what it would cost if people were to go individually. And so we started the concept. It's kind of a shared network, shared economy concept. And since then, we've been able to protect more than 4.4 million lives, both in the U.S. and Canada. So right now we have a dedicated network of quality law firms. Our law firms are actually graded if they have anything less than a B minus, they're no longer the provider law firm. And so what we do is we have a dedicated network of law firms all across all 50 states, as well as all Canadian provinces. And now we're also in the UK. And the beautiful thing about this, because when I first saw Legal Shield, I had a lawyer that I would go to, he would do debt collection for me and, you know, all kinds of things. But often because he was licensed in Maryland, 
he couldn't necessarily do certain things in other states. He would say, you have to find a lawyer there. But because of the way this is set up, if you're a, a member of Legal Shield, you basically have a lawyer all over North America. And so if you've got a client that you're working with in another state or you need to get something done, I know one of the members that we have, she was being stalked online by someone. And, you know, she lived in Washington State, the person was in California, all she had to do was reach out to the, the law firm in California and have them do the letters and things like that. So long story short, we've got a provider network of law firms across the country. And really, this is how our service works. We basically have an app. And on that app, you can get access to your law firm. So you get everything from personal legal advice on an unlimited number of issues. That means, you know, I just called the other day because we had a woman who was in one of our programs. She joined the program two years ago and now she's like, well, I'm ready to do the program. And I'm like, the program's changed, you know? So what do I do in this scenario? And so being able to actually tap the app, call my law firm and just ask advice, you know, just literally saying to them, I need advice one. And that covers really, a hundred percent of anything that you might need advice on from a legal standpoint uh, letters and calls made on your behalf so it's one thing if you call and talk to companies it's another thing if your law firm does we also do IRS audit assistance so if you've ever been audited I know in the first year of my business I got audited I didn't know what I did wrong or what the tax preparer did wrong but being able to go through and ask questions we do civil trial defense family domestic services this is the only service that there's a 90-day waiting period so you know our vision isn't that people are getting the service just to get divorced or you know to do anything crazy and so we basically have a 90-day waiting period where if you want to go through a divorce or an adoption or a name change you can do it but you have to wait 90 days and then the really powerful thing I mean I think all of those things are really powerful because you can just get access just by tapping the app and calling your law firm the thing that I love most and I don't know if any of you have children that are teenagers or you know young adults but we have this 24-hour emergency access so that means that if you're ever pulled over you know you have an interaction that happens after hours that's an emergency or your kids do let's say your kids are in the right place at the wrong time because we do a family plan they can also tap that emergency button right there and get on the phone with a lawyer within two minutes and so it's really powerful we've had women that have gone through custody battles with their exes where you know they were trying to move and the ex like called social services in the middle of the night to try to stop them from moving and just being able to get on the phone with your lawyer and say hey you know they're here what should I say what should I do so that this isn't become a bigger issue so these are all the services plus we do traffic ticket assistance if you're ever in another state and you travel I know I travel to California a lot you know I've had um, one of my uh, people were renting a car and got a red light ticket and didn't know what to do you know and so instead of having to fly back to California to defend the ticket you can actually have your law firm handle that we also do will preparation and I think that in of itself if you've ever gotten your will done or let's say many of you right now are, you know, growing new businesses, or, you know, maybe you have something that you're building now that you didn't have in your will before. We do an annual will preparation and will update so that as things change, you can make sure that they're reflected in your will. And so we do everything from your will, your living will, your healthcare power of attorney, and your financial power of attorney. And I think the healthcare power of attorney is really important for what you guys do, because a lot of times people are coming to you for health and wellness and things like that. And and often, especially with what's happening with COVID-19 right now, you know, many people don't even have medical directives written out so that, you know, they can tell their families what they want done with them in the event of an emergency. And so we do all of that through the app. You basically fill out the questionnaire, send it to the law firm, and then the lawyer calls you and works through those, you know, your will with you so you can answer questions and just make sure that you have a living, breathing will that reflects what you want in life at this point. And so that's really huge. The other thing that we do is uh, these other issues and if there's any pre-existing legal issues or bankruptcy adoption that's contested or DUIs, we do all of that cheaper than a lawyer would do. It's basically 25% off what, you know, it would typically cost you. We also do contingency cases. So if you're ever the victim of an auto accident, often that's 
typically, you know, based on the settlement and all of that, as well as um, I think the cool thing about this is that we cover the member, that's you, as well as your spouse or your domestic partner. And so, you know, that could be a boyfriend, that could be anyone that you say, you know, is my partner. We also cover never married dependent children that are under the age of 26 that are living at home or full-time students, as well as any dependent children that may not be by, um, by blood, but they're people that you have guardianship over. And then we also do physically and mentally disabled children up to any age. So sometimes you might be a caregiver for some, you know, a child or something like that. And so they're covered up to any age. And so that's really powerful because I think the beauty of it is, you know, most times when I ask people, would you rather have a lawyer that's 250 an hour or would you rather for as little as $24.95 a month get access to our national network of law firms. And to me, that was pretty mind boggling that you could actually for as little as 25 bucks a month, get access to lawyers, you know, to be able to get all of those things done that I covered, they're never going to say, oh, it's extra to get your will done, or it's extra to answer that question. And so it's pretty powerful. And I think it makes it affordable for anyone, no matter what stage of life you're in. And so that's the beauty of it. Really quickly here, we also do identity theft. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. But you know, often right now, that's the biggest crime that's out there is people not just wanting to steal your wallet wallet, but still your identity, especially for all of you that are on here that are influencers. Maybe you have an email list or a Facebook group, or, you know, you have online property, intellectual property. Often what happens, I know two years ago, my website was hacked and, you know, it had all of our membership portals and things like that. And it was huge. I didn't know what they did with that information. And so we also do that because we often feel that identity theft issues wind up being issues. And so we monitor and alert. I think the thing that we do different than most people, most companies is a, we have an app. So it's easy for you to get to just like the law firm, but more importantly, we do comprehensive restoration. So basically you get assigned a licensed private investigator who does whatever it takes, as long as it takes to restore your identity to pre theft status. And that's pretty much unheard of. So instead of you having to leave your retreat and call the credit card company, they do it for you. You know, or instead of you having to deal with all of that, I mean, I hate calling credit card companies now, you know, and, and it's even harder, like if you're trying to tell them, no, it wasn't your purchase. And so they do all of that. We also do a reimbursement up to a million dollars. So we had one member who had their, um, their retirement um, stolen. And it's like, it was $60,000. And even though the pension fund was like, we're sorry, you know, they're not gonna re give you another $60,000. But with this service, what we do is basically give you that $60,000. So anything that, you know, if you have to take time off from work or have to get babysit or anything that's related to the theft, um, we basically cover it. So it's pretty powerful. So um, just again, similar to our other plans, we cover either individual, meaning you're single, you can you know, get a single plan, or if you've got a family, up to 10 dependent children, as well as your spouse, we cover. And that's pretty powerful because I know when you go get a cell phone and you want to add other people to the plan, it's extra per line. But with this, we cover it all in one comprehensive plan. So our plans, um, you know, basically go together. If you're a family, it's about $54.90 a month for you to be able to um, you know, get it done. My little one is coming in here now. And then if the individual is $39.90 a month. And so that's pretty powerful. Guess what? This is a whole bunch of health coaches, so they might be able to help you. Hi. <laughs> anyway, can you go ask Miss Danny because mommy's on a meeting? Go get your band-aids from there, okay? Okay. All right. Um, and so Long story short, that's what we do. And so that's an overview of the plans. I will say really briefly before I open it up to questions is that we do also have business plans. So what I went over was the personal plans. We do do business plans um, and those range from $10 a month as an add-on to this plan. If you're a home business, that, you know, your address is registered to your home and let's say your business is still as in its beginning like growing stages, you can add a $10 add-on to this. 
if you have a bigger business where it's you know registered at a different address or let's say you've an assistant or a team or things like that those plans range from $39 a month up to $149 a month and it just depends on how many employees you have and things like that so that's really the overview of what we do and what we offer um, I'm happy you know to turn it back over to Denise and to answer any questions if anybody has questions about what I shared if anyone has questions, please um, you know, just unmute yourself and go for it. Yeah, you could either probably unmute yourself or if you wanna ask in the chat, um, I'm happy to do that as well. Um, I will share as people do that, that I think the beautiful thing about this is that you really, uh, I think often, most people underestimate the, the needs that you might have for a lawyer until it's too late. And I know one of the things I, I share often is I had a client that um, we had done a bunch of PR work for um, two years ago. And I had you know spent team resources on and all of that. And I remember he came back and he's like, I want my money back. And you know, at that point I had paid my team, paid for resources, all this stuff. And I'm like, you know, we can we can definitely make sure you're happy and things like that, but we cannot refund your money. And it was one of those scenarios where I really felt like I made a choice that was disempowered because because I didn't want to pay a lawyer because when I went to my lawyer he's like it's gonna cost $700 just to take it and then I'm gonna have to charge you hourly based off of you know however long this takes and plus he's in another state and so I've got to find a lawyer there that's gonna that I'm gonna be able to partner with and so I think a lot of times as entrepreneurs especially when you're just wanting to do good in the world you know you you have all kinds of people that you come across and it's really important I think to have those resources I literally was just calling the lawyer um, again today because we um, bought an organic bed that we want to return we're like it's not a good fit and um, you know it says free returns and now they're like you're gonna have to pay to return it and we're like normally we might be like oh let me talk to your supervisor <laughs> you know but now and I think just having that that resource to be able to call law firm and say hey what do you think we should do or for them to be able to make a call if need be I think it's really powerful it kind of makes you sit up straight and sit differently so any questions really quickly um, either in the chat or if you want to unmute yourself I don't see anything right now in the chat um, if anybody okay. thinks of something you know we can always connect with yeah. Maureen yeah, yeah well, you so just really quickly, Jackie, sure, because to me, what, what was one of the most powerful things that you said was, um, I know the debt collection part of it. Yeah. It, looks like froze, mm -hmm. it looks like you're frozen, Jackie. I don't know if you can hear, but I know she was, Jackie was sharing with me how, like, you know, with her PR company and, um, you know, there's so many of my friends I know in coaching and entrepreneurship where it's like, I've had, and it's like a, an emotional, moral thing too. Like, I've had a lot of clients that haven't paid. And like, I haven't wanted to take them to small claims or really go about it. So it's like, I just try to follow up and things like that. But you know, yeah. the amount that it was costing, like, were you having to give like a third of whatever they recovered away? Yeah. So that was one of the main things that I would use a lawyer for. And, um, you know, my company, we've been around for about six years and, um, you know, I would say typically 10 to 15% of people would not pay. And so, you know, part of what I would use a lawyer for was debt collection, but with our small business plans, they actually do debt collection for you. And so that's one of the many benefits that comes where they can send letters on your behalf and things like that. So, you know, it allows you to really just, again, I think run business from a more solid place when you feel like you've got those resources covered. So um, with that, I will say that if you guys are interested, you could definitely put that in the chat and either Maureen or Denise can follow up with you um, and answer any questions and also share with you what might be the best plan for you. Because sometimes depending on where your business is or whether you're single or married or that kind of thing, you know, there's just different options there. But um, yeah, just uh, you can let us, let them know there. And I just want to thank you guys for having me on and being able to share it. I know a big part of my come from is really around empowering women and just making sure that we've got those resources. And honestly, I would have like wanted nothing more than for someone to have told me about this when I was going through that issue, because it literally caused so much heartache, so many tears, so many 
things that I'm just like, I wish someone would have said, oh, you could pay $30 a month and get access to a lawyer and, and they can help you through it. So, yeah. you know, thank you so much for having me. And um, if you guys are interested, definitely connect with Maureen and Denise. You could either let them know in the chat or just reach out to them directly. Thank Great. you, Jackie. Jackie, thank you so much. We appreciate the information, taking the time to, to uh, educate us. You're welcome. Thanks. Bye. So I am going to kind of circle back, get back into some of the things that we would uh, like to, that I'd like to share with you guys uh, with Living Healthy List. Um, I always try to provide um, education and information, obviously some education on, you know, how to protect yourself. I think it's important, um, you know, when I was coaching one-on-one, -on -one, you know, it wasn't such a big deal because it was more for me, it was more of a jobby. Um, but with Living Healthy List, you know, I have to think, I'm thinking big. I mean, I say, you know, in five years, I want to be a household name. I want Living Healthy List. That's all of us to be a household name. That's a big thing. Now, yeah, I'm shooting for the stars, but hey, why not? Or I'm shooting for the moon, but why not? If we hit the stars, we're doing pretty well. And I want us all to do that together. Um, so that's the one piece of information, you know, with the uh, protecting ourselves and just honestly, just knowing that it's available, you know, whether, you know, it's something you need to think about and ask more questions, you know, something you, you know, you do in six months, you know, in six weeks and six hours, who knows. But I think it's important that we all know that there is an opportunity there um, for us to kind of see why, uh, see why. So the next piece that I'd like to talk about is, uh, especially since new articles, June articles are due tomorrow, the 20th. Of course, they're always due the 20th of the month. Um, I did put in a request um, in the 10th of the month email. If we could try to, if you guys could try to give me June and July sooner, like if you can give me July soon, I'd like to get us to a point where we're, I'm working two months ahead rather than, okay, so starting tomorrow, not tomorrow, because everything will show up mostly tomorrow, starting the 21st to the 30th, I spent all of my time editing and formatting. And so that's actually one of the things I want to talk to you about is blog posts. Um, I did a, I took a masterclass the other day on blog posts and uh, I put two pieces of information together. You'll find them in the Facebook group, uh, Living Healthy List uh, Experts Facebook group. Uh, one of them is called Five Mistakes People Make When They're Writing a Blog Post and How to Fix It. And the other one does not have a title. It does not have a title. It's basically the, 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 key, the key aspects of a blog post, what you should have and why. Um, and one of them is a lot longer. One of them is only five things. The other one is uh, a little bit longer. Um, but I'd like to just touch on a couple of things here because I think this is something that I spend a lot of time um, in the editing phase on. Um, is this kind of what belongs in a blog post. Um, and you can download those two pieces from the, from the uh, Facebook group. Actually, I could probably, you know what, I'll, I'll waste more time trying to find it. Um, so the first, the first thing that a blog post must have is a magnetic headline. Think about headlines that grab you. Um, a lot of times I think we, we find, we're like, oh, this is a cute headline but it makes no sense to people. It makes sense to us, but headlines are like, you know, think about newspapers or news articles that you're like, you look at the, the paper and you're like, wow, I got to read that article. That's what we want people to do when they see your blog post is they want to look at that title and go, yep, that's what I want to do. Um, so think of your uh, headline is your elevator pitch. You've got 30 seconds to tell somebody what it is that you do, right? We practice that. Well, we should practice that. So that's really what your headline is for your blog. It's your, instead of 30 seconds, it's your three second um, elevator pitch. So that's something to really pay attention to. Um, Marie Forleo, who, for those of you who know her, she's amazing. When it comes to her pitches, everything, I mean, the words are spot on. But she also says that she writes them, like she probably writes 25 to 50, which I think is excessive, but whatever, headlines before she picks one. So I'm just thinking if we wrote five and kind of played with the words, that may be really helpful. Because most of you will notice 
when uh, when I post blogs, um, I do have to change, very often I have to change the titles. Again, one, because they have to make sense to the audience, but also, and this is, this is the online phase of place that we're in, um, SEO um, needs to like them. So that optimization, like Google needs to look at that blog post, see keywords and say, yep, we're gonna push that article uh, out there. Otherwise, um, you know, like Google rankings, that's kind of what SEO is about. So number one is that headline. Um, and then of course, under the headline is the lead. What is the first sentence of your, um, your blog post or your email or your Facebook message? Leanne is really, I'm picking on you, Leanne. Leanne is really good at this. She really has mastered, you know, she grabs me every single time. And, and, and truly, I mean, this is something, I mean, I've known Leanne for a few years now and she really has grown and expanded what she says, how she says it, um, from, Hey, I'm going to be live to something like, Hey, catch me on live. You know, notice, I mean, there's a difference obviously just in my voice inflection, but that's what, the, that's what we want to do. We want to be able to grab people like that. Um, so Leanne, if you have any magic to share, <laughs> let us know. No. Well, um, well, you know, one thing that I do, um, actually not thinking about blog posts, but in my Facebook live, and I learned this from our friend, Christy Miller, um, was to really grab people right in the first few minutes, first seconds of your, um, Facebook live. Mm -hmm. So I really do, I try and, um, you know, like, you know, drowning in papers, let's, let's dry you out. Um, and I did a, a series on photos. So I, I'm always trying to find, you know, a, a clever catchy way to state the problem, but that it, so that it's clear so that people know what the problem is and then, uh, give them a little hope at the end. So that's what I do with my Facebook lives. And also I repurpose a lot of, I'm starting to repurpose those for blog posts. So that's what I do as well there so can i can i ask leanne a quick question yes um so leanne i know you we both did the facebook deal with christy miller and did one of the things that you pointed out was you know you were consistent on doing facebook lives mm -hmm. and you were doing it without asking that powerful question at the beginning yes and then once you once christy said her thing then you started asking the question mm -hmm. what were the results what was the change in your viewership well, I yeah, I mean, my, I have a very, I have a really engaged um, Facebook live viewership. I, I, I almost always have 25 to 30 on and I'm on three times a week and the replays there's, I'd say I have, I'd say a, a big chunk of my, uh, my audience watches the replay. I have a, my Facebook group is about 1800, well, not quite 1800 people. And I have engagement of about a thousand of them. So the engagement is, is good. So I think it is, it's definitely, you know, it might be that it might be that I, and I do, I make sure I show up regularly at the yeah. same time each week that, I mean, I think that has something to do with it. You build mm -hmm. it up. Um, but I also think that the titles and stuff yeah. help as well. Titles. Yeah. I think that, that that's, yeah. Cause they, they always catch me. So thank you for that. Thank you. Let's see, I'm going to go through this pretty quickly because like I said, it's, it's in the uh, Facebook group, but this is, I, I just want to want to tell you this because these are things that I'm doing on my end with articles and it's, I think it's helpful for you when you're writing blog posts for yourself or you're writing your emails. So the number three is some headlines. Um, SEO does not like a whole long list of here's your article. We need to break it up. You know, and, you know, if you think go back to, you know, when you were started learning how to write, you would, um, you know, okay, what are your three points? If you have three points and you should really never go more than three points, um, you lose people. Each point is a subheading. So that's really important on in that information. Um, informative and engaging body. Each point, what is, what are you trying to say? 
I think sometimes we start we start typing and we start getting blah 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 and we kind of lose we get a little flowy and we lose what our points are so it needs to be informative and engaging uh, without getting too long winded um, I, I have in here appealing graphics I always find the header for each title or for each article because it has to be a certain size or whatever. Um, I know Lauren's a lot of times she's able to send me one because we both use um, Unsplash and I know Leanne, you use Unsplash as well. Those do really good. But if you have an image that you wanna put in the article, do that, add it because um, it one, it breaks up the article and it's more visually pleasing. Uh, this is a big deal. What is your CTA? What is your call to action? Every article should have a call to action, whether it's watch this video, contact me here. A lot of times I'll put into your articles, um, check my profile out here on Living Healthy List or connect with me here, whatever it is. We need to tell people what to do. Uh, 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 the internal link, that's my job. If you're writing articles like blog posts, if you have your own blog, that's something that you should do is connect to another blog post that's relevant. SEO likes that, Google likes that. Um, what else? My papers got mixed up. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, well, those are big ones. Uh, relevant, internal link, good meta description. I take care of that also. Meta description, just so you know, it's just those words that Google, like when you look at an article on Google, it's like those first two, two sentences. Sometimes Google will, pull, will typically pull out the first two sentences. I actually go in and put them in, what I think is relevant, what we want people to know. Um, and that, again, helps Google, it helps SEO. Um, and then, Lastly, because I somehow I printed this, misprinted this, I just wanted to go through just a couple of words. Um, I know we're at, we're at noon, so just give me two more minutes. I promise I'll be done. Um, words to remove from your posts. This is on the page two. Unfortunately, but sincerely, I sincerely think, regrettably, this is the best. Oh, it's amazing. Statistically speaking, the formerly, formerly, interestingly, fine. This is important. Thanks. Sorry. Just remove that word from your vocabulary now. Everybody writes just. I'm just X. I'm just thinking. I'm just, I just wanted to connect. Get rid of that word. Actually, kind of, hopefully. As you know, basically and very. We're not in grade school where we need to have very, 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 very important because we're looking for word count. The word very is, we don't need it in our vocabulary. Um, last point I will make, and this is on the other page when it comes to um, the five mistakes that people make on their blog posts, is that we write your articles like you're talking to somebody. Too often blog posts get a little um, uh, robotic or they get a little wordy because we're just, we're not paying, we lose attention. If you pretend that you're talking to somebody, your articles will be, uh, and your emails will be much more concise and much more um, uh, easy for people to read. So that is, my piece today. Anybody have questions, um, stuff that's going on? What do we need to know? Leanne, go for it, my friend. Yeah, I just have a quick comment. And like, that's one thing that I do when I write something, I read it back to myself and I can tell it's like, oh, that doesn't sound like something that I would say. And so I can change it. So that's always something that I do, like an easy step to make it sound more that like I'm talking than I'm just, mm -hmm. you know, writing something. Yep. Lisa. Yes. So I, I just chatted to everyone that I, I sent um, LinkedIn connections and invites because I think the, the level we all are in as professionals, 
the more we connect, I mean, it just expands our network. It grows it. I have so many people that I'm thinking about of connecting you all with and want them to connect with you. Leanne, I've got a really neat idea that I want to explore with you with someone else. I, I think, I mean, I'm all about connecting people. And so I hope that's all right. So sometimes like Leticia, I can't find you on LinkedIn. I don't know. So you can, you can, um, e you know, connect with me in the Facebook. I don't know, but um, just so that I actually, it, thank you, Lisa, for saying that because we've actually talked about that. We all need to like each other, follow each other and respond to one another's messages because the more we do that, the more we support one another, the more we grow and the bigger our audience gets because, you know, people that are, you know, on, you know, are on my, you know, my Facebook or my LinkedIn may not be on yours, but then, you know, all of a sudden they see a comment or an interesting comment that you make and now they want to talk to you. So there, it really is important when it comes to collaboration that we're on board with this. Um, and if, if people aren't on LinkedIn yet, and you want to be ushered into LinkedIn because it's such an important platform for the level of experts that you are, please email me and I'll set up a Zoom call with my LinkedIn specialist. Oh my God, I'm there. <laughs> Actually, I'm um, so Stacy just went away. Where'd she go? She just left. She had another meeting. Actually, Stacy is actually somebody that we have right here also. So right. either connect with Stacy, connect okay, with Lisa. Okay, do that before I do the other. Um, yeah, Lori. Um, before everybody goes, one of the things I wanted to ask if there was any interest in introducing the public to the Living Healthy List through offering some free coaching during this incredibly disturbing time. Um, I think that we have such a breadth of expertise um, that people are, looking to fill times up and I thought it would might be a really excellent way to introduce us cost free you know helpful helping people um, so I just wanted to throw that out there to um, see what other people thought and if it's something that we're interested in Denise I'd really be um, happy to help coordinate um, that I just think is I've opened up my schedule and the amount of people that are coming through that are really in pain, their the anxiety levels are so high, and they're in so many different places in terms of subject matters. Some are worried about their finances, some are worried about relationships, their health, all that kind of stuff. So I just thought it was a good way for us to do um, good, do well by doing good and really introduce that concept mm -hmm. of us being a resource. I think that's great. I'm, you know, I'm all, I'm, I'm in. Lauren says she just popped off. She's in. Leanne's in. Lisa's in. One of the Lisa's. <laughs> you have to get used to there being three of you now. <laughs> I got a boogie. Bye. Okay. Thanks, Lisa. Nice to meet you. I gotta go too, guys. I gotta get something notarized. Um, I got a client. Yeah, I'm in. Okay. I'm in, yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Lori, um, I'm, I'm home all day. Um, where am I going? Uh, give me a call. Let's connect, you know, today, tomorrow, whatever works yeah. in your schedule and we'll see what we can do. Um, kind of create some kind of, a, a package, not package. Um, yeah, some kind of announcement or something since we were supposed to announce ourselves anyway. Now, and this seems like a really good time to say, Hey, we're a resource over here. This amazing, you know, roster. I love it. That's brilliant. Thank you. See, I can't do all of this on my own. This is why I love having you guys as, as you know, my right hand people, my right hand ladies, my, my, my wing women. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a great day, everyone. And an awesome week. I'm here. Uh, if anybody needs questions, concerns, Oh, anybody who's working on uh, a, a living healthy list Academy, a program, if you have questions, let me know. Uh, most of the time, I turn to Sue and I go, Sue, why yeah. are we doing this? Because <laughs> I'm still learning teachable myself. Um, and if you have a question about what Living Healthy List Academy is, just uh, let me know. Lisa T. Okay, so Living Healthy List Academy is uh, what we're going. We're hoping to launch. Well, we were hoping to launch this summer, um, maybe by July. That would be nice. It is kind of our 
college 101 courses. It's our introductory courses to what it is that we do. So obviously people can come onto Living Healthy List. They can get read all of our blog posts. They can read all of the information that we have on Living Healthy List. That's kind of like that's housed in Living Healthy List. And they think they want more help, but they're not sure that they're ready to talk to somebody personally. They can take one of the courses that we provide and it's kind of like that um, evergreen program that, um, so I have a program that I haven't run in two years. It's uh, a six week um, get back, uh, reconnect to your health program. It's on Teachable. It's like $47 or $27. It's not a lot of money. These should be about $197 and less. Um, and it's a way for people to get to know who you are. Uh, what we do with um, with the program, it's we do it's on Teachable, so we do like a 60-40 split. Um, so you you get paid for when it gets sold. Living Healthy List gets paid. It's another kind of revenue for Living Healthy List since everything that we do basically is free for people. Um, it's the it's the one way that Living Healthy List can actually uh, support itself because apparently I need to do that by the end of the year. <laughs> says my accountant. So, cool. All right. um, Denise, how do we deliver the, I mean, minor, I'm just gonna record a couple more of the videos, mm -hmm. narration. How do we deliver them? Do we deliver it to you? Do we deliver it to Suzanne? How does it, how do you get it? Or is um, that something? <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it now. <laughs> um, it, you know, I think you know it's one of those things. Like, if if you know Teachable, you can go in and do it yourself. If not, I mean, I still have Suzanne help me walk through every now and then. I'm like, okay, I'm stuck. Well, maybe what you could do, or Suzanne could do, is just put together a, a to do list so we know what to do with it. Um, and if it's something that we can do ourselves, absolutely, because you guys are stuck doing like everything. <laughs> um, and then we also know who to go to if we need help. Yeah, I think a to-do list, and maybe she can do it, um, like a video for us, because I know um, uh, Stacy Witten did a uh, LinkedIn uh, tutorial. So Lisa Tuccio, if you're if you're looking to do um, LinkedIn, there's a tutorial in the Facebook group under announcements. There's one you'll see uh, Stacy Witten. Uh, and it just tells us, um, Leticia, same thing, if you're ever ready to do a LinkedIn, that tutorial is there, it shows you how to do it, tells you kind of walks I you through. I have LinkedIn. Oh, okay. I am, and I, I'm connected there. Cool. I think actually you just sent, yeah, you did, you just sent I me did, an invite. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> cool deal. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, I hope, yeah, that's I hope, a great idea, Lori. Thank you for offering just like, like the, not reinventing the wheel for you. <laughs> yeah. And, and break I mean, it down know, into small, like small, like, you know, as concrete as possible. <laughs> yes. And PDFs, so video, all of those can be uploaded. I can so, check yeah. the little boxes. We can yeah. do that. Yeah. Exactly. Little, I yeah, love, pretend, I love pretend, pretend I'm in kindergarten yeah. <laughs> and tell me how to put it into Teachable or whatever. <laughs> put all the varies in front. Very, 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 very. Uh -huh. I'm going to need that. And I'm okay doing it if you're like, if you have written content, you know, do we need a certain amount of hours worth of content? Should we integrate it with video? Like what would be the best? So as long as I know exactly what I have to do, I have one no is, problem. One of the things I would suggest is if you go into Teachables right now, they are offering free courses. Mm -hmm. And I went through there and looked at a lot of the different courses and then just bought some of them so I could see what people are doing and how gotcha. they're doing it. Mm -hmm. And it was really quite helpful. All kinds of different ways. Mm -hmm. um, some do videos, some don't, some do a video and just do a review. So the, the bottom line, it teaches you that every anything goes. Yep. Um, what freaked me a little bit is the two that I've seen so far, they all went to Google Docs, which is not my, my thing. Like all my workbooks are on fillable PDAs. Yep. And so I was like, oh man, if I got it, <laughs> you don't, change. you <laughs> don't, it's, it's yeah. what, however it works for you. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, so if you don't have fillable PDA yet, that is the way there's free, um, things that you can go in and you can make all your worksheets oh. fillable. So for your clients and everything, they just type everything on, um, that. So, yeah. 
Oh, that's nice because I hate that when you get, you, someone send you something, you, you have to print it out and fill it out and then. My millennials shamed me into finding. <laughs> is, is that a... Um, you know what? Tell, Let me, tell me more. <laughs> Or you can post it in the expert. Yeah, it, I think it's called PDA Escape, but let me just go away for a second to my thing and I'll be right. Oh, you know, I'll post it in the experts. I'm thinking right. PDA. Thank you. you keep saying PDA and I'm like, PDA, PDA. I mean, PDA. Public, <laughs> dis I'm like, public <laughs> display of a, a PDF, okay. I'm the relationship <laughs> lady, okay? <laughs> um, PDF Escape. We love you. We love you. <laughs> Well, that was what made me laugh. I was like, considering it was coming from you, Lori, I was like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> I would have been looking all over, like, if, you know, Google search PDA. PDA escape, it makes sense. Hey, I've been living alone for two two months now with no human contact. What do you think? <laughs> right on my mind. I can imagine. So, yeah, so the, and it's a really easy site. The other thing I would tell you, if um, you can go to Creative Market, and you can buy really cheap templates for booklets, for eBooks, for mm -hmm. worksheets, for yeah. challenges. And you just do that and load them all into like combo, whatever. So it looks like really pretty and yeah. And, and yeah. And I would say too that, you know, there are programs, like I have a program that I purchased, I have the rights to, I mean, obviously I will change it. it, it I bought it because it made sense. Um, it's something that I talk about. And so sometimes you don't have to recreate the wheel. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a matter of just kind of tweaking the wheel and making it fit onto, you know, your car, <laughs> so to speak. Cool. I All love right, it. We got a client. See you guys. Nice to see you. Stay safe. Stay Thanks safe. Bye. 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 Have a good week, everyone. Bye.